WYFF News for Investigates has learned the popular Simpsonville Ballooning Festival, known as Aloft, has not given to charities in years, even though it is a nonprofit. Today, Gabrielle Komorowski asked the president of the Aloft board for the reason. The setup has started for the festival of balloons, music, and rides. Aloft, which begins Friday, brings people and their money through the gates of Heritage Park each year. The festival's poster says it's supporting the Center for Developmental Services and calls the center its charitable partner. WYFF News 4 Investigates asked the president of the board of Aloft, Chuck Morton, about the festival's finances. Said was Aloft able to give to charities in recent years? We have not been able to give. Chuck Morton tells WIFF News 4 Investigates that although Aloft is a nonprofit, it is not legally obligated to give to charities unless money is made. And for the past four years, he says money has not been made. 2009, we canceled uh, one of the days of the event, and then in 2010, the, it just pretty much the entire event was a wash. He says the festival never fully recovered, and the bills for entertainment and renting this land have piled up. A few weeks ago, WYFF News 4 told you Aloft owes the city of Simpsonville approximately $20,000 in rent from last year. Morton says festival organizers have worked out a payment plan with the city and hope to have all of the bills paid, including the bills for this year's event, by August. WYFF News 4 investigates asked, why list a charitable partner on a loft's poster? Since we can't give the money, we at least want to raise awareness. This year, what we're going to be doing to make sure that they get some money is that in, inside the event, we're going to have a text to give. This year, he's hoping for good weather and a good turnout. My hope is, is that that uh, everyone will see what a great event this is and say, yes, we want you back. Gabrielle Komorowski, WYFF News 4, Simpsonville. Ticket prices for a loft have gone up this year to $16 in advance, $20 at the gate before 4 p.m., $25 at the gate after 4. We are told new this year the ticket price covers all of the rides and the concerts. A loft at Heritage Park in Simpsonville runs through Monday.